think stories come from everywhere. I see things I think are odd, I make a note of them, and then I spend time thinking, how could I turn this into a story? So it's just picking up on little things and seeing how can you incorporate them into something bigger. I've written in some way or another pretty much since fourth grade. I had a teacher that really encouraged me and I wrote all kinds of stories. You know, when you're a kid and you get that kind of encouragement, it makes you want to do more, and then I realized how much I liked it. When I was in college, I had written my first draft of a picture book because I had always thought picture books were just like the coolest thing you could possibly write. Picture books are wonderful because they tell a whole world in a really concrete, defined space. It was a wonderfully energizing experience. I remember just looking at it and thinking, maybe I can do this. I got one rejection, and I sort of set it aside and stopped. I wish I had pushed harder at that time, but it was the first step on, on the path to reaching my dream, even if it was kind of a long path. It wasn't like I was miserable. I was, you know, working and getting married and having kids and doing all those wonderful things. Once I hit 39 and I really had an epiphany and said, I am going to put the time in that it takes to be a writer because I knew that was the one thing that I would regret when I was older and never having tried. It was like everything fell into place. I think it was because I was so much happier because I was putting the time toward the thing that I really had always wanted to do. I was rejected a total of 126 times before I sold my first book. I figured a no just meant it wasn't ready yet, so I'd work harder on making it better. I realized that I liked writing so much that I would keep writing even if I never was published, just for me. And that pretty much got me over the, the period of self-doubt. So the day that I got the offer to have my first book published, um, I wasn't at work, it was my day off, and the phone rang, and um, I saw the name of a publisher on my caller ID. They said, we love your book, we want to publish it. And I don't even remember the rest of the call. The book is Sophie's Squash, it's my first picture book. I still get no's, I get a lot of no's. I think any dream you can make steps toward. You know, even if you're really scared, you can make that first step. And if you just make that first step, you can do that dream. <laughs>